the various types of study designs are completely randomized design randomized block design parallel design complete crossover design in that two period two sequence crossover design three period six sequence crossover design latin square design first completely randomized design in a completely randomized design all treatments are randomly allocated among all experimental subjects method of this completely randomized design are label all the subject with the sum numbers of digit for example if there are 20 subject number them from 1 to 2 randomly select non repeating numbers from among these labels for the first treatment and then repeat for all other treatment advantage of completely randomized design is the design is extremely easy to construct it can accommodate any number of treatment and subject second one is randomized block design first subject are sorted into homogeneous groups called blocks and the treatment are then assigned at randomized within the blocks method for this randomized block design is subject having similar background characteristics are formed as blocks then treatment are randomized within each blocks just like the simple randomization randomization for different blocks are done independent of each other advantage of this design is it can accommodate any number of treatment or replications different treatment need not have equal sample size disadvantage of this design is missing observation within a block require more complex analysis third point is parallel design in parallel design one group of subject receive one formulation and other group receive the other formulation which is to be compared usually the groups are of equal size and the subject are randomized assigned to two groups major drawback of this design is inter subject and intra subject variation that cannot be avoided therefore this design is not commonly recommended fourth one is complete cross over design in this design generally variability within the subject is higher than that between the subject complete crossover design are used to overcome this variability each subject receive each formulation over a period separated by washout period each subject act as his own control first point two period two sequence crossover design this is used for bioequivalence testing of two formulation the washout period is about 6 half lives suppose there are 6 volunteers then 3 will received a and other 3 will receive b in the first period after washout of half lives those who had received a will get b and vice versa second point three period six sequence crossover design this is used to study formulation difference with the three treatment group these design are completely balanced because the number of occurrences of each formulation in each period is same and the other occurrences of all comparison in a common sequence is the same third point latin square design this type of design is used for comparison of more than two formulation in this design each formulation occurs one in each subject and one in each week thus the number of subject used is in multiple of the number of formulation being tested the design is completely balanced limitations of crossover design are crossover design are not suitable for testing of 3 4 or large number of formulation because it require very long time